Uh, unfortunately, my father, who I worked with for many years, um, became ill. And it turns out that he had purchased a long-term care insurance policy. Um, we had to make the difficult decision to place him into an assisted living facility, which is expensive. And uh, we then sought for his long-term care insurance company to pay some of the, uh, the charges associated with his care there. And uh, when they declined to do that, um, I was forced to file a lawsuit against the company, and I did. And uh, it was during that process that I realized how, the, how first of all, how, um, how neglected the field is. There was no law on it, nobody was involved in it, and how important the issue was. And after we were successful in that case, I made the decision to make a career shift and start assisting other elderly people and their families in the same, you know, same or similar circumstance. And that's what I've been doing. As a family, as a, as a child of, of a, an elderly and infirmed parent, you know, the experience was shocking for me. And uh, you know, the, the whole the realization that our parents are getting older and the difficulties associating with, uh, associated with caring for an elderly, sick parent. It's very, very shocking. And that was another reason why I felt that this was a very, very important thing to do to help other people deal with their parents and the problems that they associated with caring for their parents. It was about, I'd say about four or five years ago. And, uh, and since then I've been involved in hundreds of cases. Uh, not only on behalf of individuals like my father, but also on behalf of home health agencies and nurse registries, who are the entities who actually provide the care um, and who were met or have been met with difficulties with insurance companies getting paid. Um, so uh, it seemed like a natural thing to do to help the providers make sure that they're getting paid so that they can continue to provide care to, to the elderly insured people. So I've been involved in many cases, um, different issues. Um, I was involved in a, ca a case which is now the very first reported appellate decision in the state of Florida dealing with long-term care insurance. And we've also had some uh, trial court rulings that are very significant in the field of long-term care that uh, I believe have, have opened the door to uh, elderly people being able to access their benefits under different scenarios like assisted living, things like that.